Hey guys, I'm Alex Pierce, and today I have a quick tutorial to show you how you can unfreeze Blender when it does something like this and it locks up and you're waiting and you're waiting and eventually you just force quit Blender. Um, so, so far you can see it's, it's been doing this, uh, this, this task for three minutes and I think that if I let it go it will eventually finish, but uh, I just made this test specifically so I could show you when uh, Bl Blender locks up what you can do. When you first open up Blender in Windows, you can op go to Window, Toggle System, Console, and you need to have this open before whatever causes your computer to crash, uh, to crash, because you can't access this if Blender is locked up. And I don't know how exactly to access the console in Linux or Mac, but I'm sure there's a way. So anyway, so once that's open, you can just minimize it, doesn't matter. Uh, it's also good to have just because if anything's happening, you can you can read what's happening over here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create something that would be hard for render to do. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's see. So we got 5,000 uh, monkey heads here and we're going to try to smart UV project all of them. <laughs> which should cause Blender to have an issue. All right, so now if I try to go to U, Smart UV Project, this is going to freeze Blender. I know it's going to make it hang up. And uh and we'll see we can uh I can show you this 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 tip in in action. All right, so now it's it's locked up. If I go to the console now and push control C, you see it canceled that operation. I didn't have to force close Blender. Um, we unfroze Blender. So that's very useful. Just for um, just so you know that I'm not doing any magic here. Uh, I'll go ahead and do it one more time. And I'll let it run out while we finish talking about the video. Go ahead and start my timer over. So, just so you can tell that it didn't, it didn't just do that on its own. Um, so yeah, this doesn't work every time, uh, and you have to have the console window open before it stalls. So it's a good habit to just open the console window when you first open Blender, sort of anyways, because it's good to know if something's happening in the background. And this is sort of an added bonus of if something gets hung up, you can just quit whatever operator it was that uh, is causing it to have issues. This works great also with a lot of add-ons because there's a lot of add-ons that um, that cause Blender to to freeze, and you're not sure if that add-on is actually doing anything or not. The console window will show you, oh, it's doing step A and step B and step C and step D usually, and so it might when you normally might force close it, you might realize like, oh, I just need to wait for this, for this operation to finish. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Okay.